हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन ऑफ द नंबर सिस्टम व्हिच इज़ कॉल्ड रैशनल नंबर ओके नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो व्हाट इज़ अ रैशनल नंबर रैशनल नंबर एक्चुअली इट इज़ अ नंबर विच कैन बी रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू पी बाई क्यू मीन्स you must understand here because you know this lesson has a lot of confusions and misconceptions okay so first of all i'll tell you that why it is written that p over q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 means denominator cannot be equal to 0 see this reason is very easy why because if you write any number with denominator as 0 then this number cannot be defined okay for that i made another video that why denominator cannot be zero okay relating with it as a fractional number okay now why p and q are integers so these are the two conditions here that p and q numerator and denominator both must be an integer and denominator should not be equal to zero for example if i say 2 over 3 will it be a rational number yes because it is written in the form of p over q and q is not equal to 0 this 3 is not equal to 0 and 2 and 3 both are integers if i say minus 5 or say minus 5 over 7 it is also a rational number yes if i say 5 5 is also a rational number why because 5 can be written as 5 over 1 and it is satisfying the condition of rational numbers numerator and denominator both are integers and denominator is not equal to 0 okay now let's talk about this number 0 0 is a rational number or no let's see 0 can be written as 0 over 1 or 0 upon 2 or 0 upon 3 anything and you see 0 and 3 both are integers yes or no yes that i told you i explained you in an another video what is the meaning of integers okay so 0 and 3 both are integers and denominator is not zero so it is satisfying the condition so what we can conclude from here we can say that zero is also an in a rational number zero is a rational number okay now another misconception in this lesson is it is some students asked me that what about 4 over 6 4 over 6 is it a rational number or it is irrational number see i told you okay let's talk about the condition forget about the result what are, what is the condition for the rational number its condition is p and q should be an integer so you see 4 is an integer 6 is also an integer yes and denominator q should not be equal to 0 so it is not equal to 0 so it means it should be a rational number but why there is a confusion then why students get confused why because while solving some questions like show that square root of 2 is an irrational number in questions like this they assume that p and q their hcf should be one okay now this is a specific assumption in that particular question only this is not the part of rational number this is not the part of rational number this is not the condition for a number to be rational that hcf of numerator and denominator should be equal to one so here it will be also a rational number but yes this is another type of rational number and what we say the name of such functions the name of such fractions or rational number is equivalent fraction what we say equivalent fraction equivalent fraction means a fraction or a rational number whose value is same to the another number for example if i say 2 over 3 and if you multiply numerator and denominator by 2 so what you will get 4 over 6 yes or no so 4 over 
एंड टू ओवर थ्री बोथ आर इक्वीवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन इनफैक्ट नॉट ओनली दीज टू यू कैन हैव एट ओवर ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो वाई मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाई टू वाई नॉट ओनली दिस यू कैन हैव सिक्सटीन ओवर ट्वेंटी फोर ऑल्सो सो ऑल दीज फ्रैक्शन आर इक्वीवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन so one simple question can be in your exam that which of the following options is the equivalent fraction or equivalent rational number to 5 over 7 option a that will be 1 over 7 option b 35 by 7 option c 10 over 14 and option d 9 over 7 so what you can see here you can see If you multiply numerator and denominator by two, then you will get ten over fourteen. So how you will get the equivalent fraction? Equivalent fraction you can get by multiplying the same number in numerator and denominator. Remember this thing, okay? So I am sure you understand about the equivalent fraction, and there is no confusion in the rational number. So just for the revision, what is the rational number? rational number means any number written in the form of p over q where q and p both are integers and q should not be equal to 0 okay now some confusing questions can be in the exam for example uh, they say square root of 4 over 5 is it a rational number so if you will not think it deeply then you will say no it is not a rational number why because here there is a square root sign but my dear students you can see a square root of 4 can be simplified and it can be written as 2 so 2 over 5 now it is satisfying the conditions of rational numbers 2 is a integer 5 is also an integer and 5 is not equal to 0 so it is a rational number okay now same if i say 1 over root 3 now you see 1 is an integer it's okay but root 3 is not an integer because it's it is an irrational number it is non terminating number okay so this is also this is not rational this is not a rational number you understand this okay so whatever examples are given to you in the exam you just analyze that number it is not like that you see the question and immediately you write the answer no think before writing okay don't think so much after writing the answer because that will waste your time think before writing the answer and analyze your answer okay so i am sure that this was the basic thing for a rational number and you have understood this part easily if there is any problem you can write in the comment and in my another videos i will tell you more in more detail about the rational numbers okay if you like this channel then please subscribe and share with your friends thank you